Hey there, Louis Acabellas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set a status message in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now to set a status message, what you want to do is you wanna click on your profile icon here and you want to click on set status message. Now what this is going to bring up is the status message field. So you can actually enter a message here and that message can be up to 280 characters. Now status messages are useful for a bunch of different reasons. You can use this to tell your colleagues your whereabouts or perhaps to provide them with some information about what you're going to be doing or perhaps where you're even working. Now for demonstration purposes, I might be in training and perhaps I want to just let people know that, hey, I'm not gonna be super responsive in Microsoft Teams because I'm in all day training. Uh, and the cool thing about status messages is that when people actually try to interact with you in Microsoft Teams, they're going to see that message. So that's why it's really useful. So you can see here, I've just pasted in this message that says, hi there, I'm in all day training and will not be able to respond. For urgent issues, please contact. And what's really cool about status messages is you can actually at mention individuals. So I can just start typing at and I can actually tag somebody in my status message. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click Diego. And so I can actually tag Diego in my status message. Now, in order for this message to be displayed when people interact with you, what you want to do is you want to come down and click on show when people message me. And so checking that box is going to actually, again, display this when people try to interact with you. Now, to be more specific, if I hover over the information icon here, you can see that it says your status message will show above the compose message box when somebody sends you a chat message or when they at mention you in a channel post. Now, the other option that you have here is you can actually set the status message to clear automatically after a predefined duration. So you can see by default, it says clear after today. And if I click on this drop down, I could select never, I could perhaps select one or four hours this week, or I could even click on custom uh, and I can choose a specific date and time even when I want that status message to clear. Now I'll just go ahead and set this to one hour and you wanna go ahead and click done, and you've now set your status message. Now you'll see here that you have this little prompt that reminds you at the top of your Teams app that says your status message is showing in chat, in channels when people message or at mention you until that specific date or time that you set. Now you can easily change it by clicking on change status, and again, it's just going to bring up the set status message menu and you can click on edit status message to go ahead and either update the message or change when it should expire. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I will just quickly demonstrate for you what a user will see when they try to send you a chat message or when they try to at mention you in a channel post. So what I'll do is I will bring up Microsoft Teams web application and I'm logged in here impersonating my colleague Diego. And the first thing that I'll demonstrate is how that status message appears when you try to at mention somebody in a channel post. So I'll click on new conversation and I will start to type Luigi. And as soon as I select that person in my at mention, you can see here at the top of the compose box, the status message is displayed. Next, I'll open the chat menu and I already have a chat with myself here. And as soon as I come down to the compose box, again, you're going to see that status message displayed. So again, a status message is a useful way for you to provide additional information as to your whereabouts or perhaps what you're working on or what you're up to uh, and give your colleagues some additional information about you. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to create a status message in Microsoft Teams. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Acabellas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.